Hey y'all and welcome back to Young Misses. So I'm sure that you saw from the intro that we're doing a bit of a throwback series right now. Um, actually, I have a bit of a secret <laughs> to tell you all. I actually, when it comes to my TTC journey, there are actually some videos that I have not posted yet. Um, they're just more personal videos um, and it was just really hard for me to I just wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to share any of that with anybody and I, I just needed some time. So now I'm finally ready and I figured what better time to go ahead and just start from the beginning to make sure that you all are caught up with what exactly is going on with me and hubby TTC wise. So basically the last TTC update that you all saw I believe was um, when I was talking about what's going on next and I was saying that we're basically just kind of remaining hopeful um, and, and having faith that God is going to do it this year and waiting for him to tell us which direction that we should go in next. Well we've actually um, we're actually getting ready to start making some moves toward a little bit of a game plan that we've got going on and I figured to myself we can't start this new journey without everybody being caught up on everything that's happened thus far you know all of the procedures that we have to have done the tests and their results and I was like you know we're all a family and I want you all to know I want you all when you're following my journey I want you to know where I'm coming from so that, that way when I get my BFP when I get my big fat positive we all know and understand how much it took to get to that point so um, yeah, like I said, there's just there's videos that I never got a chance to post, which is actually exciting because you're seeing some never before seen, you know, videos and stuff. And also, like I said, I'm just gonna start at the beginning so that that way we've got a start to finish, well, start to current, and then we'll get into the current videos of our TTC journey. Now, I was looking back at some of those clips, especially the ones that I have not yet posted, and um, some of them are like there's still some blanks that need to be filled in. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to also make some um, videos, some clips to fill in the blanks, answer the questions that may have been left by those clips. But um, you all don't have to worry about that, that's all on me. <laughs> I just want you all to sit back, relax, enjoy following us on our journey to our John baby. And if you don't know what a John baby is, you'll actually find out, um, I'm not sure if it's this video or the one the next video but you'll find out sometime soon and then I'll probably try to make another video going into clarity on what I mean when I say we want a John baby okay so anyway the first clip that I'm gonna show you all is actually the first TTC update that I've done and it was actually the first video on my channel and it was so funny because I was looking back at it and I was just laughing roasting myself like girl you tripping like <laughs> you know I can admit to myself that I was whack. Like, I started off the video talking about some, hey readers, what? <laughs> Crazy. It was because I was originally posting it on my vlog. I mean, on my blog. So I was like, oh, hey readers, this is my YouTube channel so you can watch videos of me too. But I was like, this chick. So it's so crazy to me to see like the difference between me when I first started and me now, you know, standing before you all. And I hope that you're able to appreciate that as well. But anyway, let me stop yammering on. I know you all don't have time to listen to me yap it out. Um, so let's go ahead and watch that first video. Hello, readers, and I would like to welcome you all to my new TTC vlog. For those of you who don't know what TTC stands for, it stands for trying to conceive. And I have decided to go ahead and vlog my experience trying to conceive so that it can make it a lot easier for those of you who are also trying to go ahead and start a family. Um, uh, this is going to be kind of a, a pretty personal journey, so um, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, this is my first time I've ever done anything so personal, but I'm ready because it, it, when you're when you're trying to conceive and when you're trying to start a family, it, it can you need a lot of encouragement, and a lot of the time watching other people go through it can help out a lot. So I've gone ahead and I'm gonna be making this vlog to help those of you um, who are also trying to conceive. But 
the focus of mine is going to be less on watching me take pregnancy tests every day and making up all these magical smoothies and stuff like that. And that yeah, stuff is, that stuff is, you know, it's good to do. But I want to focus more on the spiritual and the emotional aspect of it, of preparing yourself, trying to conceive, preparing yourself to get pregnant and to have a baby and being prepared spiritually and emotionally. Being in that mindset, in the right mindset, and in a welcoming mindset that will welcome a new child into your home. So, um, I'm going to be doing the, the regular TTC stuff, but I'm going to be getting more into preparing yourself emotionally to be pregnant and to have a child. So, welcome to this journey. And I just want to start off by saying um, one of the first most important things to learn and to remember while you're trying to conceive is to not lose hope. It's also very difficult. I know when you've been trying for a long time, when you've been trying for months, when you've been trying for years, all you really want to do is just give up because it's like, especially uh, spiritually, the devil is just, he is, it, he is having a field day. He is all up whispering in your ear, oh, you can't even get pregnant. You can't even carry a child. You can't, this is what you're here for and you can't even do that. And I know he's going to be, he's going to be on you, on you, on you. But this time is so important because when you, when you, when you stress like that and when you start, and when you start doubting yourself and you start losing hope, you start putting more stress on your body. And you can't get pregnant, you can't carry a baby if you have so much stress on your body. And sometimes that's what stops you from getting pregnant. So it's important to, to, to kind of ignore that. It's important to just power through it, to just have hope, to just have faith that it's all going to happen in its timing. And so, uh, because, especially because the, the hormones and the emotions are running all over the place, you're taking these prenatals, and, and your, your hormones are just like crazy. Like, I just, I just started crying last night just because, just because my hormones were just all over the place. And I told my husband, because um, my husband and I, we actually had a miscarriage in um, March. And I told my husband, I was like, you know, I know that it's just the devil whispering in my ear, but sometimes I feel like this is what I was literally created to bear children, and I haven't been able to do so. And so I, it, it's, it's very hard. It's very hard not to have that negative mindset, but it's very important to fight it. It's very important to replace those negative thoughts, to, to cancel out the devil whispering in your ear, and to think positive thoughts, and to focus, and to focus on enjoying your life you don't want to you don't want to waste your life spending every month counting counting days until the next month when you can take another test enjoy your life enjoy your life before you get pregnant enjoy your life when you get pregnant if you enjoy your life and if you stop stressing and worrying about it that's when you're able to finally get pregnant because you've stopped stressing your body out you stop stressing yourself out and, and obsessing and just letting yourself be put down like that you have to have your body in the place where you can carry a child. And the main way to do that is to make sure that you are resting, relaxing, de-stressing. So I just want you guys to remember that as, as we're all going on this journey. Because I have to remind myself. My husband has to remind me. When you're trying to conceive, your partner, your, your husband, your, your, your partner is, is, is very important. Because you have to encourage each other. You know, it's hard, it's, hard on, it's hard on them too. It's hard on him too because it's like we've been trying all this time and it's still not happening. Is there something wrong with me? And, and, and when, when, when one of you gets in that mindset, that's what the other person is there for, to get, to get them out of that mindset. So as you're going through this journey, just try, try to think the good thoughts. You know, try to stay positive, stay calm, and just get yourself ready to, to conceive while you're waiting. While you're waiting, get yourself ready. Get yourself in that mindset. Get your finances in order. Get your home in order. Get everything in order so that when it finally happens, you're ready and you can continue throughout your pregnancy with less stress because you've already done all that before you got pregnant. So um, that's the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about in this new series. Um, you guys keep checking the blog. Keep checking uh, for new video updates on my journey. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this as much as I am. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Okay, so please don't roast me in the comments. I know that that was like... <laughs>
<laughs> crazy I, I don't know if you all were laughing as much as I was at myself but um, anyway at this point we are gonna go ahead and continue on with the throwback series I'm not sure how long um, it's gonna last I know there's quite a few update videos so at least for like a week or two so I'm um, just hold on in there um, and then at the end this is the important part make sure that you all subscribe and make sure that you hit that bell so that you can receive notifications whenever I post new videos because once the throwback series is finished I'm gonna be moving on to our current journey so I'm gonna be you know it's going from back then to now and we've actually got something that's gonna be happening tomorrow and I'm excited to share that with you all I'm excited to tell you all about it so make sure that you hit that bell button so that you can receive a notification whenever I post new videos okay also don't forget to subscribe y'all subscribe 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 <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> subscribe <laughs> hit the like button hit the share button Let's get all this done. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of our journey. It means so much to me to see like everybody watching and being involved. And you know, all the people that have said, oh, your video helped me and this helped me. It means so much to me. You all don't even know. And I'm also excited because when I'm going through hard times, I can look back and say, you know what? I helped one person and that's enough for me. So keep on following. Um, keep up being patient with me, showing each other grace. Um, anyway, y'all just remember God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Y'all have an absolutely blessed and wonderful day. Lord willing, I'll see y'all next time.